Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here we have the Aegis. Now this thing is gorgeous, just everything about it is beautiful. Alright, so let's stop wowing ourselves and take a look at it. The front cover looks really great. I know, I don't care if I say really great all the time because that's what it is. It just like I, I just love the way he's holding the shield, you know, he's just holding it like with his hand, not, it's not attached to the arm, it's just, he's just bare holding it, like you know what? come the fuck on. And then you got him in his little squid mode right up here. Like that. Uh, so yeah, let me move this out of the way completely. But yeah, there he is in his little squid mode and everything. And uh, you can see Buster in the background right down here. And, uh, whoops, let me bring that. Buster and then uh, the duel. But I don't see Blitz. Blitz is off in his own world. OFP. Oh, wait, nope, there he is. I think that's it. Yeah, that's him. Blitz is right up in there, right behind the Gundam. So, let's take a look at it real quick. Um, you know, Master Grade from the Seed era. And Aegis, here's a front shot of it. Back shot looks really great. I, th I think the red might be a little bit too light. I was really expecting a darker red. Uh, but you know what? It does look pretty good. Here's his MA form. I guess that's what it's called. Uh, the rear shot. Here's all of his weapons. He comes with a gun, little rifle, a shield, and then his little sword bits has like little energy blades that come out. That's really really cool. So, and then you can see the markings that he comes with. I'm really, I'm actually kind of excited to put the markings on because I have yet to see the figure with the markings on him. So, just taking a look at the box itself. You can see here the HD remaster. They're trying to blow it up as much as they can because you know. Seed is, I guess, cool. I, I don't think it's cool, but and here's a really, really nice shot. I, this is the shot I'm like the pose I'm probably gonna put him in, you know, over in my room. Style, and here's the other get uh, suits. Hey, he retails for forty eight hundred yen. That's actually kind of a lot. It's about sixty dollars. Um, I mean, luckily I picked mine up for four thousand and twenty yen. Uh, I actually went to another store just to go see what else they like another store had. And they actually were selling it for, I think it was 5,000 yen, or, yeah, I think it was about 5,000 yen, and I was like, wow, that is way too much for this kit, so, uh, let's go ahead and just cut this guy open. Alright, and put this in the back. Okay, so, let's go ahead and take a look at these, wow, that is a lot of decals. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but this is a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crack it open. So here, you get some nice stickers. You get blue for pretty much all the sensors and stuff. The eyes, you know, basic stuff. Here's your uh, rubble on decals. Don't really look too bad. I actually kind of think it look pretty cool. I like the white. The white on the red is gonna, is gonna look pretty good. Wow, these are a lot of just basic decals, and I think this is more than the other guys. It's the way it looks, so that's that. And uh, here's the A runner, pretty much the shield, and are the miscellaneous parts, the blades, which are pretty cool. I like the blades. All right, so that aside, all right. So this red is actually coming off as a pink, in my opinion. It's like a very bright, like it's like a reddish pink. I like it, but I really want a darker pink, so, I mean, I kind of want to paint this guy, but at the same time, I don't, I mean, if, I just don't want, I, don't, I just want to hurry up and build it, I, I really don't want to waste time. So here's some more red, the uh, poly capture inside, this is pretty much legs, arms, and other parts, so that's that. And here is the little beam effects, I think these are really cool, I'm probably going to pose them with these as well. Um, so I don't know, I'm really deciding between the shield and, uh, rifle or the sword bits. Or do a combination, ooh. Some more red, this is probably for the little side thrusters. Alright, and then you're gonna get some black, well it's actually like a dark blue. Yeah, like a bit mixed between dark blue and black. But that looks pretty good. But stay up there boy. Okay, here's the inner frame. Pretty much a really, it's a really, you know, look nice looking in front I think it's pretty much the same as all the other get suits. Alright. 
here's the hands, basic stuff, basic stuff. All right, so this is all pretty much the same inner frame as, as it, the looks of it. So that's that. And here's the booklet. Just take a look at it real quick. All right, so you see all the other suits. What is that? I don't remember that guy. You know who that is? I don't know. I don't remember him. Meh. Here's the pilot. Don't really care for him. Actually, I don't care for anyone in the series. Maybe I'm just a very mean person. Here's the body. Body looks really good. Look at sexy. Hey, sexy body. All right. The head unit. Arms. Okay, and legs. So I, uh, you know, I like, I like a lot of this. Uh, you know, this looks really, really good, in my opinion. Oh, look, they're hugging. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so looks good. Octopus mode. All right, waist unit. Doesn't look too bad. The weapons, which isn't really much. It's a little side thruster things. And pretty much they show you how to transform them right here. And more of the transforming. Finally, here it is, the decal. I think it's going to look really, really great with the decals. And here's your color guide for both the suit and the pilot. So, that's it guys. Just a quick, bam, quick review of the uh, unboxing. Now, I can't wait to crack this guy open. Now, one more thing before I go. When I went to Yamada Denki, right, I just went there to get the ages. But look what I found. Alright, I found a no-grade Trans Am Exia for 300 yen. That, I, I saw this thing, I didn't, it didn't even pass my mind to buy it. I just instantly bought it. And there, bam. So, I'm probably going to go ahead and do a custom paint job. I was thinking about doing white. Because I already have a Master Grade Trans Am, so I was just pretty much like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and just pay it all white. Uh, but that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, you know, Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And hopefully, maybe tomorrow or Sunday, I'll be able to do the review of the H's. So, thanks for watching. See ya.